The following video is brought to you by the Cop Block Network. If you believe that badges don't grant extra rights, then consider donating just $1 a month to the Cop Block Network. Together, we can further the police accountability message. Visit copblock.org slash network for more details. Pissed off. <laughs> well, it's a little more than that. It says a lot of things without saying anything, doesn't it? It can, but you can't abuse it. I mean, you can't, you can't put on this uniform and think you're better than everybody else. You can't do that. That's well, badges don't grant extra rights. Huh? They're not extra rights. I mean, there's certain things that you can do. I mean, you think of having a job where you can take so much free. I mean, that, that's the ultimate That's thing. a serious deal, right? Yeah. I mean, it is serious. But you can't, you can't go above and beyond that. No. Nope. So, I hear you. That's why I love cameras. Solo cameras. Doing your job right and nothing to worry about. Yeah. They got you better, they got you better than me. I was thinking clone. Huh? <laughs> it's not that man. It, I mean, it, it's, I mean, I can't speak for everybody. You know, I just, I can only speak for me. You know, but for the most part, um, we're all the same. Man. Everybody puts their pants on the same way. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's all I ask. We yeah. all uh, treat yeah. each other as equals. Yeah, I mean, you, all the same. you know, even if a person is a criminal, you know they're a criminal, you can't treat them like that until they give you a reason to do otherwise, you know? So, I mean, if I'm encountering you on something that I'm doing for some shit, you know, and you did some shit 10 years ago, I can't judge you on that. I can be more cautious of you because of that, but I can't judge you on that, you know? Sure. The chances are you've gone to jail, served your time for that, and, you know. But everything's we'll illegal these days, man. A lot of people in jail haven't really, they're not really dangerous. Dangerous. You know, they're having harm somebody shit, else. I'm glad we got jails. I mean, shit. What's that? I said, we, I'm glad we got jails. I mean, shit. I don't know. I've been I've been in the, quite a few jails, and I, I mean, haven't hung out with too many people that are I mean, deserve shit, to be there. But there's some people that you know, some. thank God we got but, I mean, people eating their babies and shit. I mean. But this, we have the most, we have the largest prison population in the planet. Mm -hmm. The it's, freest country in the world. That's kind of backwards. Yeah, but look what goes on, though. I mean, a lot of it's, it's just the war on drugs, victimless crimes. Uh, it's not victim. I mean, if you think about it, you'd have, you have to dig deep to find out the, the whole picture of it. You got well, drugs, then we get, we get into well, crime prevention. Well, you no. can't do that. Well, the thing is, you get, you get a person to get hooked on drugs, okay? Say they have a job, they lose that job. But now they're going to do anything to get that that hit or that fix or whatever they got to do. So now they're breaking into houses or they're robbing people. So it's right. just, it's a crime element because of the, you know, this guy, he just said to go, you know what? But there's, oh, already, a, there's already laws against breaking Yeah, it's called burglary. And the reason that's so expensive they have to break in a house is because it's illegal and it's a black market. And we don't need like prohibition. Look what Portugal did. Portugal legalized everything and people are getting the help they need. They can yeah, be open totally about it. It's, a totally, it's not a business there. I mean, no, it here, is very here, much a business. But, but not like here. Well, no, it's I like mean, that here. Look at the. We learned from Prohibition era back when we did alcohol that there we, weren't we the, there weren't big gangsters other, in other, people other people we, we didn't we didn't do we didn't have nothing to do with Prohibition. Well, no, I'm saying before, me, we the idea of the rule of law. Right, but you, when you speak on drugs, I'm thinking drugs as far as like you know, there's some people say certain drugs are more harmful than other drugs. You know what I mean? But why why should it be illegal for me to put something in my body when I make the choice to put that in my body? It's not illegal to put, it's not illegal to use drugs, it's illegal to possess it. It's not illegal to use it. Right, right. No, I, so if I have to possess it to use it. Why, why should that be illegal? Why should it be illegal to blow, bro, grow a plant in my backyard? Because you being under the influence, right? But, but, I have a drug. Like it's driving. the thing. Yeah. If, 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 if you're doing some type of drug in your house and not harming nobody else, nobody knows about it. Here's the problem, is when you do something that brings attention to yourself. Say you go out and smoke something that gets you higher in hell, and something in that drug is telling you to walk down the middle of Meridian Street and talk to cars. Do you think you're not, so, uh, we're supposed to sit by before somebody hits you? Or? Oh, he's safe in jail, they probably need to go to the uh, doctor and get some help. Well, here's the thing. And, 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 and here's where it comes in. Right. We go to arrest you, you know, or detain you to maybe even get you help or send you to the hospital, and you start fighting it. Then that turns on the police. Oh, look at the police. Well, see, here's the problem is that while you might be a good cop, we know that there are a lot of bad ones. And, then, and there are a lot of people that treat, like, look how many home are mentally ill people have been murdered because they're mentally ill. Or the deaf guy that was just shot because he didn't respond to someone's command. I mean, that is where we say badges don't grant extra rights because I I can't tell someone on the street to stop, and if they don't listen to my can man, I can't pull up my gun and then shoot. Well, I mean, them. I, like I said, I can't. Speak for, I can't. I can't speak on the actions of somebody else 
or what somebody else did. The thing is, is that you have to learn to train all of that stuff, you know? You have to learn that certain, oh, well, no, I know, certain, I know certain, about certain, training. certain, certain, forces, certain, but... certain, certain disabilities cause people to act like they're under the influence of drugs. Right. But seeing it right now, I don't get a whole rundown of this person's medical history to know what's going on, so I'm going to, I'm dealing with it right now, you know? Right. You know, and, you know, hindsight, you can look back and go, oh, wow, you know, it's a bad situation, but if this guy is mentally ill and he picks up a weapon or a bottle or something or charges at me with some type of weapon, I don't get the, men, you know, his mental background to go, oh, shit, well, you know, he's just, he's tripping out today, let me run over here. I don't get that option. I have to deal with it right then and there. Right. So, I mean, that, that's the that's the give and take that you don't you get to do. You agree that tasers should be used more often than guns? I'm sorry? Do you agree that tasers should be used more yeah, often than yeah, Well, situation? there's a certain situation. This here, this doesn't always work. And, and when people see a taser on TV, they see somebody getting touched and they fall. It doesn't work like that. Oh, okay. This here, this here is just like a stun gun, like a regular stun gun that you can buy. It has two probes. Matter of fact, like that. This is good for the website, ain't it? Right, right here. Great. Okay. Yeah. This here's just like the stun gun. Just yeah. touch. Okay. As long as you're being touched, you can move that away. Okay. Now, if I'm this close to you and, and I shoot the darts, it just becomes a longer stun gun. Right. The only part that's been affected is maybe your arm. No, so I've been hit you can sit. You can sit there and move your arm. <laughs> yeah. You still got. You're not gonna fall down and do all that. So the only way you get the full incapacitation is if you get a dart here and a dart lower to do the whole body where it seizes up. Right. Yeah. That's not always perfect. I mean, when people are moving. I'm moving and stuff like you don't always get that so tasers in certain situations if they can be deployed They're great if they work right, you know, but I've seen people just because the darts go in too close The person sit there and just reach up and take the darts out because right. it's just a stun gun at that point, you know So I mean and, and when the public sees that they don't they don't realize that oh that dude, he's a beast, you know. He, the taser didn't even affect him. No, the taser affected him. It just didn't happen Not to hit him. Right. So, I mean, that, that's where you run into it. But every certain, you know, if I'm encountering a person with a gun, I'm not going to bring less lethal to a lethal fight. You see what I'm saying? I like that the fact that y'all got pepper, yeah. pepper balls. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the thing with the pepper ball is, if yeah, I have the problem is, the problem is, as soon as we shoot these off, you guys got something to say about that. <laughs> so, so in one sentence you're saying, well, one well, sentence well, in one in one breath you're saying you're glad we got them, but as soon as we go out there and do something with them, it depends. It's the other way around. So, well, just like he said, he can only speak for himself. He only spoke for himself. That's not like a generalization. Well, well here's the thing. Just because one cop shoots somebody with their hands up doesn't mean all of you do. These are good. Versus, like, if I get six or seven people over there fighting, I can fire two or three of these over there to break them up instead of running in by myself or two of us trying to take on six people. You see, see what I'm saying? Why some of us would rather see this because the problem a lot of us see is that you guys stick yourself way too close to the like that guy, the other guy that got shot in Ferguson. Oh, no, man, we just up, they, were, they were this far hey, away. Hey, how you, you doing? doing? Were you there? No. That's what I'm saying. So, we're speaking well, no, what I'm saying is that the, the example is, is like when they, when they, you know, it's cops. The whole keep your distance thing's kind of gone out the window. You got to get really close. That's why these are better because you don't have to get close. And you well, don't have to escalate. As well, high. The, the thing, I mean, you have to get close. It's situational I mean, basis, I mean, but I mean, the, the thing is, my, my job is to mainly protect, you know, or keep the peace or whatever. That doesn't mean I'm gonna stand back and wait till they get tired. It's something that watch I'm, your back, man. I'm being paid by the city of Indianapolis to go do. Right. Well, it's law. If I got people fighting, that is breaking the law. It's just all the time. It's just a minute, you know. So I have to go do something. You know, I can't sit there and go, oh, you know what? And then when it escalates to the point where somebody gets seriously hurt, people look. You can look at me and go, well, damn, why did they do something? Why did he do something? There'll be somebody that, that's a critic because you know what they should have done with it. Well, see, I think that's where some of us come from is that we don't necessarily believe that your job should be what it is. That your job's too important. That it's too big. That may be because you guys provide a false sense of security because, you know, when you're in trouble, the cops only five minutes away if you can make a phone call, if you have your phone. I just have a problem with the officers that have that mob mentality, like, they got my back, I'm going to do whatever I want, you know what I mean? It's not that. It's not that. But here's the thing. Like, you know, I can go all the way back to, like, the Rodney King situation, you know? And you see it on camera, and you're looking at it, and you go, wow, man, they just kept hitting him and hitting him, not knowing that what they were doing was a technique 
that was okayed by the government, okayed by the department, called the swarm technique, where if he's still resisting, okay, instead of swinging myself to where I'm tired, the next group goes in. That was a technique that they were using. But on camera, it looks like they were just beating the hell out of somebody. So, I mean... Uh oh, hold on, we might have a situation. It's all about, you know, what you know about, so I mean, right. it's, it's a give and take, you know, I mean. Well, coplot.org slash welcome to Neos is a website, is a link you guys check out on our website. I'm into it. Okay. <laughs> Man, you've been real cool tonight. Uh, it's cool to get your name and badge number. Well, see, we're back to the investigation part of it. No, 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 no. It's because no. no, you've been respectfully cool tonight. Oh, uh, man, uh, just because I'm mean, positive. Oh, just, I, I'd rather not, but, you know, it's cool. Um, not a problem, y'all be safe. Here's the thing. Um, nice talking to you. Ain't not a problem. Hey, you know what? It, it just seems like one-sided. It was like a cop block. It's like, like we're the ones that are doing all that. I mean, no, but, it's the people that that make us like we're the bad guys. No, no. I mean, but, I mean, you take our name like, like cop block, which I have no problem with. Um, but it's more like everybody, everybody says, oh, cop block. Oh, yeah, I'll jump to that and go with it. But you think about it. For the number of police officers that we have versus the population, there's a hell of a lot more people out here doing more serious and stuff than the police, you know, so I'm not going to take you to change your name, but I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a, pawn, it's a play off of cock blocking. Oh. You know, like instead of cock blocking your buddy, you never had that problem. That's why I don't, have, you don't hang out with a lot of dudes, you don't have that problem. <laughs> you take you and the woman, y'all go about your business. If you get blocked, it's because your game wasn't good. <laughs> Well, that's the same here. What's that? If you get cop, if you get blocked by cop block, the game wasn't good. But I got more game. Than, game. I got, I got, I got more. Game. I got more game than the Olympics. I mean, I'm trying to sit here.